We were chasing the prospector off of our claim when lo and behold, the Kraken reared its head. Alright, enough of that. I'm not going to spend this video talking like a pirate, but we will talk about piracy when it comes to trading. No matter how you feel about it, piracy is a guaranteed mechanic in Star Citizen. Utilizing it right now is a little tough, but there are people doing it. So we're going to talk about what you can do when you come face to face with a pirate. There are all manner of people who identify as pirates in Star Citizen. For simplicity's sake, we're going to split them into two groups. The first group is your pillagers, and they walk a gray line between a loose definition of piracy and griefing. They'd rather blow you up than negotiate, and aren't motivated by money. At least, not by your money. The second group are your true pirates. These are the ones that you'll have a better relationship with. They may put a few holes in you to get your attention, but they're generally happy to let you and your cargo off for a fee, with the understanding that this can, and will, happen again. So let's go back to the first group, your pillagers. These are generally your lone wolves, although you may come across groups. These types will open fire without warning and don't want to negotiate. And chances are, if you're trading, you're in a trading ship. That means that they will have a speed and weapon advantage on you. Not to mention that you've got a lot to lose in this fight if you're holding cargo. And most of these types will kit their ships for the shortest possible time to kill. Fighting does nothing for you here, so your best option is to run. The first thing you want to do is jump. It doesn't matter where, plot the fastest course you can and line up. Kill engines once you're in quantum to drop early, putting you safely in the black. Once you've done this, you can plot another jump to a safe destination. If you're smart and operating with escorts, they can usually buy you the time to jump to safety. If you're running solo, then good luck and consider the previous statement about escorts. In fact, I might make a video about escorts in the future. Your biggest advantage with the pillager types is their lack of tactics. They generally hang around places like Port Olisar or Grim Hex, and will try to ambush ships coming or going. Pay attention to chat to see if others are complaining about being attacked at certain ports, and plan your routes accordingly. If names are mentioned, be on the lookout for those when coming into a new area. Now, the second group are my preferred kind of pirate. These are your true pirates. These are the guys who put in work studying trade routes, and the best way to separate a merchant from their money. Piracy itself may be in its infancy, but these are the people doing their best to make it work. I'm talking Mongrel Squad, Shadow Moses, The Ravagers, groups that are organized and will introduce themselves before shooting you. Now, to be clear, I am not endorsing piracy. However, I have met plenty of traders who would rather detonate their cargo than pay someone off out of principle. While principles are noble, they don't make money. When it comes down to it, Sometimes piracy is the price of doing business. If you think you can run, go for it. Keep in mind though that groups like these are a bit smarter and may have spotters to see where you pop up. If you continue to stay on the same server, it may be more profitable in the long run to simply pay up and continue trading than to run or fight. Time not trading is time you're not making money. Not to mention that they may not be so agreeable if you change your mind, and may increase their asking price or shoot you on sight. Now, of course, all pirates are different. Some will ask for a beacon for each time they come across you. Some may offer you an amount that buys you protection for a particular time frame. Some will even have contracts. Understand that these pirates are players just like you, and are pursuing the gameplay they desire. It's okay to hate it, but it might be easier on your wallet to throw them a few thousand, instead of letting them detonate the 1.5 million in Laronite in the cargo hold. And make no mistake, Pirates can profit over your dead body. With the new black market economy, destroyed cargo will drop salvageable boxes that contain a percentage of your cargo. Each box contains six units of whatever commodity you are carrying. However, it doesn't spawn a box for every SCU on board. On average, a destroyed ship will yield about 5% of its original cargo. So while pirates can destroy you and take your loot, it's generally more profitable for both parties if you come to a financial agreement. At the end of the day, how you deal with pirates is up to you. I hope this information helps. Until next time, 
keep on trucking.